issue. Let's go to Edwin. Edwin, you're calling us from Bromfontein. Hi. Hi, Rudy. How are you? Fine, thank you. I'm good. I'm also one of those people. I guess I'm also allergic to Bafana. You're, you're allergic to Bafana? Yes, I, I don't see any miracle happening with, with South Africa. Why not? Starting from selection of players and all those things, I, I don't see things I don't see us beating uh, Mexico, which is the team that we playing in the first game, and, and France is another thing, as you might as well know. So chances of us is actually minus mm-hmm, mm-hmm. for me. Okay. And I and I am saying that people who support certain nations because of few individuals. I guess I'm one of those people. I'm, I'm believe me, I'm a diehard fan of Chef Fabregas, so I support Spain. Period. Mm, mm. All right, Edwin. Uh, Doc, how do you respond to that? Well, let's look at the FIFA ranking. And if you look at the FIFA ranking of Bafana recently, ranked 81st uh, in the world, 16th in Africa. Yeah, there's obviously a lot of people like Edwin that feel no hope. Mm -hmm. But, and I have to say this in German because it's very rude, uh, when it comes to a World Cup, the FIFA ranking kannst du dir an den Arsch stecken. It (laughs) means, the FIFA ranking means F all. Okay? It means nothing. Because what really counts is the collective energy. And I'm so um, convinced of that, that I'm going to take a bet with you, um, me, Edwin, me. you and Edwin, a okay. hundred bucks um, on Bafana making the quarterfinals. Ba- ba- quarterfinals. Yeah, okay. please. Let's match. Here's a hundred okay, bucks right, bucks. right now, right here. Okay, should I put it? No, actually, I have no money. I was going to contribute to this. I have no money. In, in fact, why don't we make it a 702 challenge? If you can predict the number of goals scored, the number of victories reaped. Now, I'm predicting eight goals scored by Bafana, four victories reaped. Put in a hundred bucks, send in your hundred bucks, and then we will, um, we will see who's okay. going to win. That's going to be a nice game. Bridget, we're taking notes here. Hey? We're going to run this bet, this competition. You really sold on this idea. I really see it. And I must just say, in defense of my guest, you've been speaking like this for years now, eh? Yeah. You've been saying this for a very long time. Ever since, ever since I was five years old and my great uncle Herbert shared with me the miracle of Bern. Mm-hmm. Now that's what scored in Germany. 1954, Germany coming out of war, coming out of ruins, not having a team, sending a team. Many people even questioning the cost of sending the team to Switzerland. All of a sudden, uh, uh, being humiliated by Hungary, 8-3, then going to the final, winning the final against Hungary and unleashing. When they made a movie 50 years later of the miracle of Bern, 2060, that's what we're talking, 50 years later, the whole nation flooded the movie halls. The German chancellor broke down in tears. Mm. And I can see the same dynamics happening again. Okay, let's go to Caroline. Caroline in Greenside. Hi. Hi. Um, uh, I just want to add my voice to uh, uh, behind Bafana Bafana. I don't know whether they're going to win or not. I don't think they are, but I don't care. I'm behind them all the way, and I just want to say, go boys. I don't. I'm so behind them. I can't tell you. Thank you very much, Caroline. That's a very important aspect of um, support for a team, any team, isn't it? That. Perhaps we in South Africa, we base our love and support for our teams on their performance and not necessarily. Uh, is it Shakespeare who says, let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Imped- love is not love which alters when it alteration finds. So your, your love for someone stands regardless of the circumstances and what, what is happening. So with Bafana Bafana, we look for their behavior and their performance and then we decide whether we support them or not. And that love has to be unconditional, very much like you love your child unconditional. When last did you kick your child, your toddler, when he stumbled and, f- and failed to walk? You don't kick him. You don't kick her. You encourage them. That's what we've got to do. Unconditional love. I love that. When last did you kick your child when they made a mistake or performed badly? You can see these mothers and fathers at shopping malls kicking their children. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read some SMSs. Doc says, Hi, Reedy. Miracles happen. Three things for a team. Coach, discipline, willpower. Strategies, Bafana, Bafana doesn't have. And uh, this comes from somebody who's been a player and coach in ice hockey. I'll read just a few, uh, uh, Doc, just so we get through them. One says, law of expectation is nonsense. Most of us expect Chiefs and Pirates to win the league and they haven't for almost 10 years. That is from Kiura Pezi. Another SMS, nothing produces results like good old-fashioned hard work. Miracles are pipe dreams. 
John says, as a veteran sports writer and staunch fan, let me remind you of a cardinal fact. The Bafana are simply not good enough to win the World Cup. Not their fault, merely a fact of life. Okay, that is from uh, John. And then another SMS says, we're going too far in saying they will win. Perhaps they will reach the quarterfinals and that's what we should hope for. Our soccer national team don't know the national anthem. How can you expect them to win? The rugby team sang with passion thus they were able to win the World Cup. Really, Bafana Bafana is not going to win because there's no affirmative action and BEE. Those are the thoughts of South Africans. Okay, that's beautiful because that's exactly the skepticism that will be turned around and we've seen it again before France, 98. We've seen it in Korea, we've seen it in Germany, we've seen it most importantly in the USA, 1994. Mm -hmm. They didn't even have a professional league. The best players of the 94 US team played in a second division at a German club and they were sitting on the bench and all of a sudden that team beat Colombia and went to the second round. Okay, Colani, Colani in Durban, hi. Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks. Good. Uh, I think the starting point is not calling our team like Bafana Bafana. It's the South African national football team. And the game they play is not soccer, it's, it's football. Ah, oh, come on, <laughs> Colani. I mean, those are semantics. Why do you for call... Uh, uh, or Boke, those are just nicknames. It, it shows that uh, people have warmth for their team. Why do you want to get bogged down with phrases now? I think we need to put things in, in, into perspective. I, I don't know any other football team which goes about calling themselves by a nickname. It's when you, when you get England playing Germany, it's England against Germany. It's not like rugby. People make the mistake of comparing football to rugby. Um, it's not like the Wallabies versus the All Pack. It's South Africa versus Germany when it's football, not Bafana versus Germany. And the point is? Bafana. The point is, it's all in the mind. That's what I'm trying to say. If we, we you remember, if you, you remember what, what the, uh, your guest is saying, the skepticism is ma mainly coming from a certain sector of society who don't think or believe or don't want to believe that because Bafana is, is dominated by the black population, they're not going to do well as is in rugby. I've heard, Colin, hold on. Let's yeah. not go there. I think that that's but, a very... Hold on, hold on, let me finish. Let, let me, me finish. Let me make my point. I call no. to make my point. I know you agree with no, me. No, 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 hold on, hold on. I'll give you a point. chance. I'll give you a chance to respond. I'm addressing... Not to go there. I'm no, no, no. To make my opinion. I know, I Kolani, and I will, I will give you a chance. I'm okay. addressing one aspect. I'm not done with you. I will give you an opportunity to finish what you're saying. Maybe you miss, you're taking, you take, I think you're taking words too literally, like Bafana Bafana and don't go there. Don't go there doesn't mean don't say that. Even I'm the, saying. The former president, Tabo Mbeg, he said, why, why is this yeah, name? Yeah, but Bafana Chabu Bafana? is not God. He's just a human being. Yeah, this point I know, but I'm, I'm, I'm just making my point. Okay, hold on, Colin. I'll give you a chance. I've been listening to you. I'm, give me a chance okay, as well. Speak really. I'm saying, when I said don't go there, I didn't mean don't say it. What I meant was a lot of the criticism that I'm getting on the SMSs and the calls are coming from black people as well. I've got an email here. I've got emails from Lufono and Debucho, all of them saying that they don't have faith in Bafana Bafana. So the point I'm making is this. It's okay for you to argue your point, but don't make this a race issue that it's the white people who are not supporting Bafana. Even black people, some don't support Bafana. The, the problem is with, with black South Africans that we, we're so brainwashed into believing that we're inferior that we, we don't question, we, we are afraid to tell it like it is. Mm -hmm. um, like you just read an SMS where they said there's no BE or affirmative version. What is that person trying to imply? Mm -hmm. That's, uh, a couple of weeks ago, a certain white player by the name of Glenn Salmon wrote an article saying that uh, because he was overlooked, Bafan is not going to do well because mm -hmm. it's dominated by African players. Mm -hmm. uh, BBK took him to task. He even called him a rotten salmon. Mm -hmm. um, he, because this salmon is forgetting that uh, the coach is white. The coaches of the major, of all, almost all the teams in the PSL are white. And they don't choose according to color. They choose the best players, which are supposed mm -hmm. to be African. Sure. I mean, there's this mentality among uh, white people who don't know anything about football, as they call it soccer, which is just a game played by a bunch of American school girls. They compare to rugby. More than 200 teams compete for football World Cup. Okay. It, it takes about two years, not like a 16-nation tournament like rugby. Okay, so the, the chances of a football team winning a World Cup uh, are much slimmer than any other sport in the world. Okay. But, uh, South Africa is not going to win, but they're going to do well. But All right, Colin, I've got to let you go. I think you've made your point. I think five minutes is fair. Let's give other people a chance. Hey? Thank you. Okay, thank you very much.